CBS News White House and Chief Foreign Affairs Correspondent Margaret Brandon is traveling with the president in Manila, Philippines. Uh, Margaret, we know the president refused to publicly condemn uh, the president of, Philippine, of the Philippines for his uh, human rights violations. Is there strategy in that? This sort of seems like a no-brainer. Well, it, it certainly uh, is something that has raised the scorn and ire of some in Congress and human rights groups. But when it comes to the Trump administration's policy on these things, they have made a virtue out of not publicly condemning or complaining about human rights abuses, even among some uh, so-called allies, including the Philippines. Uh, but what we do hear from senior administration officials is the insistence that this is handled appropriately and quietly through other channels. Exactly what that means isn't clear, because Today, the White House said President Trump did very briefly bring it up during a conversation about the drug war here in the Philippines, but then the, the spokesperson for the president of the Philippines, Rodrigo Duterte, said that wasn't the case at all. In fact, said there was no discussion of human rights and only praise given by President Trump about how this war on drugs is being executed here. And so if, if the strategy here is to build an alliance among democratic countries in the region, it does seem very much a break from tradition and a break from democratic values to not speak out at all about protecting human rights, which is a core. And founding principle of the democratic values of the United States. So it was a glaring absence. All right, Margaret Brandon, continuing your reporting. Thank you very much.